Hi. <laughs> do I know you? Yes, you do. How do I know you? Uh, my name's Natasha Stewart, and um, we did two gigs together, but you probably don't recognise me because I'm minus very large curls all over my head because um, I've just finished 20 weeks of chemo. Hi, my name's Natasha Stewart and I'm a professional singer and I've been able to tour Australia and the world with Tina Arena, Cold Chisel, Jimmy Barnes, Richard Clapton, all these amazing Aussie icons. I have sung for three out of the four coaches, which was a real privilege. It's so good to have both of you here. You guys are the best. You're going to smash this. I'm so proud of you. Aww, you're gorge. You doing all right? Yeah, I think so. All I can do is just to hope my voice comes and and just sing the song. And I think the adrenaline will help. Yeah. I was 41 at the time, and I thought that was just way too young. But I'm now discovering so many younger women with a breast cancer diagnosis. We're going to start the first fancy... Ooh. The Red Angel. Red Angel. <laughs> With this is... our Blue Angel here. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing that the doctor said to me, which was amazing and gave me so much comfort, is she said, you didn't do anything wrong. It's very easy, actually. I just sit here. <laughs> Lucas does all the hard work. Sit here and get poisoned. Yeah. Oh, it is one way to think of it, isn't it? Yeah. It's yes. uh, healing. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, a cancer diagnosis is hard, um, but, yeah, losing all my curls was... and eyebrows and eyelashes, um, but losing the curls, being the, the singer with the big curly hair, and just being used to seeing a particular ref reflection and then seeing all of that stripped away. Um, yeah, that's, that's the hardest thing. It's kind of a, a cruel joke that the treatment makes you lose and strip away so much of your identity. If nothing, the last six months has taught me to just be happy to be anywhere. <laughs> I want to be an example that you can be strong and live your life and just keep going forward no matter what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if the coaches did not recognise me. I would imagine it would be a bit of a shock. I could really tell there was this really big kind of message in that performance. Yeah. I mean, was, tell me about what you've been going through. So I was just going about my business, singing, you know, just gigging with my band and, and doing a few little bits and pieces of touring. And then I was lying in bed the, literally the day after I got back from two months on the road. And I um, was, yeah, I, there was a lump in, and I was like, that's nothing. And, but I went to the doctor the next day just so that they could tell me that it was definitely nothing. Um, but it wasn't. It was breast cancer oh. and, yeah. Middle of last year. Yeah, yeah. And how are you doing now? How's... <gasps> I'm good. So they believe that I'm cancer-free. Hey! I love that you just shared with everybody that you only got it checked straight away because it's such an important message to 100%. share with people. When I found my lump in my neck, I went to about three different people and people kept saying, no, 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 it's nothing. And so what you're sharing is very important for women, for men, for anybody to check that women always check your breasts. <laughs> and it is so important to go and get checkups, full body checkups. And I love that you're sharing this message. You know what I also love, Natasha? I love where you sang that song from. Yes. That's the part when I went, wow, this is what happens just after you go through what you've just gone through and you're a fighter and you're a survivor and standing there with all the shards after the bomb has gone off and you've got to put all the pieces back together, this is the part of the most growth. This is the part that, you, that you're reborn again. And this is the moment that you sing like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Uh. Natasha. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Do you know her 
tour too? I do, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you were on, what, my first ever yeah. tour? Yeah, Tasha was on my first tour as well. Really? <laughs> my very first one. A and Kelly? You... Kelly? <laughs> yeah. I know, I, I'm well, like, on, Kelly. have we done anything? <laughs> no, <laughs> but I am available if you need me. <laughs> that doesn't, wait, wait, that doesn't leave me out though, right? You did get a four chair turn to Yeah, me. I did. Yeah. <laughs> You, you made us all feel something, and you gave me chills all over my body, and like, the Beyonce record is a tough record. Ooh, you went for every note, you had nothing to lose, and I'm just so proud of you. You just absolutely nailed that performance. I'm just Thank so you. happy for you. Thank you so and much. so grateful to stand in your presence. Yeah. Oh. I just feel like it's a different Natasha, that's all. Uh, oh, like, and, 100%, and, 100%. And, and, and I feel like, if, if there's any positive to come out of the awful thing that you've been through, it seems like it's made you connect. Yeah, and even when I was getting treatment, um, the thing that kept me centred and kept me going was I kept gigging through chemo to make myself feel better and to connect and to just, again, so grateful that I can still do this. So grateful to be here. Yeah. <laughs> But what are you looking for, you know, from this experience? I've never done anything like this. I haven't challenged myself in this way. I love touring, but this is just completely different. It puts me yeah. in a really different spotlight, you know? It's, it's actually the perfect time. It's actually a perfect... And it seems so strange to say that. I know, it's weird. But I feel the same. <laughs> it's, it's kind of difficult because, obviously, we all want to be really sensitive. Yeah, of course. Love your my team. You've got four chair turns. <laughs> and now it's... The decision is yours. Oh! <laughs> um... I would love to continue the songs and the healing. Oh, my God, how nice it is to have this kind of decision rather than <laughs> something that your life well, depends on. This is on. quite scary as well, not in the same level. <laughs> you know what, I, I, it's, it really is, it's not the hardest decision of my life, but I, I, I am feeling Delta. I love Kelly, bye. George, love you guys, but yeah. Delta has put together three female artists who've all faced massive challenges in their lives. Please, Natasha, please okay. step to oh, the living yep, room. Yep, 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 yep. Your song yes. is... Yes. R.E.N. And it's Everybody Hurts. Oh, OK. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. I would all never right. have imagined or picked that, but... Yeah. OK, yeah. Yep. When the day is long... Once I actually locked in and re registered what the lyrics are about, I'm like, oh man, okay, I get it. Take comfort in your friends. I really feel it. The uh, take comfort from your friends line <laughs> in the song is just, um, yeah, I couldn't have gotten through uh, the last six months, seven months without them. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's powerful. Yeah. All right. I um. I feel so connected to the three of you. I have an idea. Can I talk to Rach? When you meet other women who have gone through some extraordinary things, it's beautiful to connect. And I just felt so inspired by them. I. I just feel like you know survivors stand together. Yeah. And I would love to share the stage with them. I'm thinking I could play piano and play the songs and, you know, we could all just be together. I think that's an amazing idea. Right? I've always loved sitting in my chair supporting my artists, but in this moment, I want to be out there with them. So this has never okay. happened on The Voice before. Okay. okay. But I would love to be on stage with you. What? And I would love if I could accompany you. I'd be humbled to be able oh. to play piano oh. and a three oh, piece. Can <laughs> I can't wait to be up there and support these beautiful women, but I'm still going to have to make a decision at the end of it. I don't know how I'm going to do that.
Team Delta. Yeah, make some noise. That was so beautiful. What you brought today was just so human. You know what I mean? I think like sometimes we forget we're human. Sorry. Oh. But I, I think that um, that's what's so beautiful about music is it's, it just completely, we all connected in that way. We all felt it. And thank y'all for bringing that too. Thank you for bringing such vulnerability. I have to tap into what I feel that my soul, who my soul needs and who needs me right now. And that's Tash. Tash, you are the winner of the knockout. I just wanted to check in with you because you are on a very different journey to everybody else as well. Yes. I wanted to just see how you're feeling. I'm nervous about the surgery. I'm nervous about how, how painful the recovery will be. But the singing is just everything to me because it, it's what keeps me going, you know? Yeah. Last year, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I've just finished 20 weeks of chemo. And now, two days after the battle, I will be in hospital on the operating table. It will be the last bit of my cancer treatment. I'm having a double mastectomy with immediate reconstruction. My risk of cancer is reduced so much. It means that I'm just going to be able to relax and move forward in my life. It's a lot to deal with in a few days, but I don't do things by halves. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. Sometimes. Natasha is the ultimate inspirational woman. We've come from a very emotional place, a very connected place. So I have to think very deeply about this oh. pairing. Hey! <laughs> come in! Crazy. Right. So the next battle is between my survivor, Natasha, and Jesse, who I saved. He really has the ability to connect with people. Hey, Jesse. How are you, honey? I'm good, I'm good. Excellent. Tasha's an insane singer. Like, I've got to go up against her. This is ridiculous. The song I've chosen is Giant by Rag and Bone and Calvin oh, Harris. Oh, OK. It's a little bit left of what I would choose sometimes, but the message is strength. I am giant. <laughs> Stand up on my shoulders, tell me what you see. Standing next to her and hearing her sing, every time she hit a note, I was like, oh. Just, you know, kind of in awe. Like, even though we're battling, we're definitely a team on this one. I am a giant. We've got the song. Jessie's immediately just nailing it. Underneath our feet. And I'm feeling like I need to do a fair bit of work. It's not high for me, so if you need to go oh, up, okay. yeah. Would you mind if that went up just yeah, a tiny yeah, bit? Yeah. The, yeah. Way I, the way I see it, it's going to make you feel more comfortable. That way, we're going to be more comfortable. We're both going to shine. And if, okay. you know, if, if we're Great. not both shining, then what's the point of being here? What this a team. Legend. What a legend. <laughs> this could be an unbelievably uplifting, strong battle, which makes it so tough for me to make a decision. <laughs>
don't hide your emotions You can throw down your guy It was you who taught me living in Natasha, you embody that ability to have strength but warmth, but also the fact that you're a fighter, but your, your voice tonight was what shone through. When you sang those big notes and you enjoy a up-tempo song like I Am Giant, the way you just did it, it was so fearless. There was no way that anything was gonna stop you from hitting it. So congratulations on that performance. You both, without a doubt, deserve to be here. I thought it would be a decision between my head and my heart on this one, but I've realised that it's actually only coming from my heart. I'm going to go with Natasha. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Look at you. I know, I look you at you. Amazing. Thank you. This is amazing. To see Natasha walk in today after everything she's gone through, she's just had, she's gone through the double mastectomy. And to walk in and look so radiant, I was so excited to see her today. Such a huge change within yourself. Yes. A lot of freedom in the rebirth. That's true. Which is why I chose a song. Okay. Called Everybody's Free. Oh, wow, okay. That's a, that's a big song. It is a big song. Yeah. I feel like this song is just, it's, I, I've loved it since it was released when I was, you know, a, a little girl. I thought it also needs a really big choir. I've never been the one in front of exactly. the choir. Exactly, you're the one in front of the choir. <laughs> I thought maybe it might be nice to have a bit of a surprise with all the people that have supported you, so your choir's not just a choir of people, it's a choir of all these wonderful people who are here and stood. Sit next to you, and I mean, you're all gonna back you up. I'm overwhelmed. I, I don't think I'll ever forget that moment of the door opening and everyone being there. Woo. <laughs> All you guys are just such a massive part of my musical <laughs> life, you know? I'm, I don't know what to say. These friends of mine are the best of the best as far as Australian vocal talent goes. There is, there is no better choir. Tash is such a support when people are going through hard times. And um, I, for one, am just so honoured to be here and be part of it and to sing for you. So we are here for you. Thank you. I have done some incredible gigs, but this is going to mean more to me than any, anything that I've ever done before. This is going to be amazing, like trying to keep myself together in the song, but I love you guys so much. I can't believe that I get to have this moment. I'm so grateful. <laughs>
That was absolutely stunning. Yes. Let's just start there. That was absolutely stunning. <laughs> and with knowing what you've gone through, and this just goes to show how people truly do need people. You know what I mean? And how, what a blessing to be able to have such a support <clears throat> system of people who are just holding you up, and, and I'm sure it would be reciprocated. But that was a show that people do need people, and, and love is real, and support is real, and friendship is real, and I'm so grateful that I got a chance to feel that, like the goosebumps mm -hmm. and the feeling that the whole room got. Didn't y'all feel that? It was incredible. Thank you. And that's what that freedom does. When you're supported, you are free yeah. because you you are, someone's going to catch you. Yeah. And I had all of my incredible friends and, and my family. It's yeah. Sheldon and wow. Natasha. There is just one spot left on Delta's team. Wow. Delta. It really is an impossible choice to make, and I haven't made it lightly. The artist I'm taking through is Sheldon. Yeah! Sheldon, congratulations. <laughs> Sheldon is through to the finals next week. And Natasha, I don't even know what to say to our beautiful Natasha Delta. Tash, I mean, I feel in this moment, I thought a lot about this, and I truly felt that this moment was a moment in time where you are the star and I want you to go forth from here and never stand in the background again. This moment is a moment to capture in time and I know that going forth that this has been our coaching journey and I know that this rebirth, you are ready to go, it's a full circle and I love you, you have inspired many people. Is there anything you'd like to say? I'll buy a ticket. I, I have had just such an incredible experience. It's been wonderful working with you, Delta. I'm so grateful for the coaching and just taking me into really new places musically and completely out of my comfort zone. I had one of the most incredible moments on stage tonight and I feel so zen. I feel like I had this beautiful healing moment and it was, it was beautiful and I couldn't have asked for anything more. It was truly wonderful. So to have, to be able to go out of this incredible opportunity on such a high is a true gift. So thank you. I feel like you came on this show for a message. I really feel like you truly found your voice. Never, ever, I, I, I truly found you found your voice, so. Natasha, for the final time.